We're back at Diane's studio. Now that the students have a sense of what it takes to make clothes, it's time to talk about the business side. Drew will have to make sure he stays within the film's costume budget. And if Jessalyn and Robin want to go into the business of selling their clothes, they'll have to think about how to price their items. The way it works is that the designers first set a wholesale price for their clothes. Remember, the wholesale price must be higher than the cost to make the clothes so that the designers can make a profit to be able to pay employees, buy materials, and make more clothes. The wholesale price is the price the stores pay the designer for their clothes. Then the stores mark up the price again before they sell it to the customers. Jessalyn, let's use your dress as an example. Now, it cost you $50 to make, right? And I understand that you want to make a 60% profit on each dress at wholesale, correct? And then the store will mark it up again, let's say by 50%, all right? So Kim, we need your help again. First, what will Jessalyn sell the dress for at wholesale? And second, what will the store price be? Help! In order to get this dress in stores, we'll need to find the final sale price in two steps. First, we'll find the wholesale price with the 60% markup based on the $50 it cost Jessalyn to make the dress. And then we'll find the store price with a markup of 50%. First, let's find the wholesale price with the 60% markup. To do this, we can add the price the dress cost to make, $50 plus the 60% markup. That is 60% of $50 or 50 times 6 tenths. According to the identity property, if you multiply a number by 1, the product is equal to that number. We can use the identity property to simplify the problem. By combining like terms, you can see that the sum is equal to 50 times 1 and 6 tenths, which is 80. A 60% markup on the original price of the dress means that Jessalyn will sell it to the store for $80. So, Jessalyn will make a profit of $30 from selling her dress. The 50% markup that the store will charge is based on the $80 that the store pays for the dress. 80 times 1 and 5 tenths is equal to 120. That means Jessalyn's dress will sell for $120 in stores. So what do you think about the business side? It's a little more complicated. I mean, yeah. Drew, in your case, you're going to be working with a tight film budget, most yeah. likely, and you're going to be making items for which there's only one. Yeah. And Jessalyn and Robin, it's most likely you'll be going into productions, that there will be multiples of each item. So that's another layer of complexity added on top of things. How does that make you feel? Well, it's really interesting to see like behind the scenes of what's on the racks. Yeah. This is how those clothes get to the stores. And speaking of clothes, we have a nice surprise. We have Samantha Black. Hello, Hi, Sam. Hello, guys. I've come, come on to bring in. your amazing designs to you, hand-delivered. Wow. Robin, here's your athletic design. Jessalyn, your beautiful dress. How thrilling. I had a really good time working on you guys' designs and bringing it to life for you, so enjoy. From paper to three dimensions to reality, what do you think? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's I agree crazy. with you. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, you are enormously talented, and we thank you so much for your collaboration. Yes, good luck today. Very exciting, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye thank bye. you, Samantha. Bye bye. These are your designs. They're suddenly on the table in front of you. What do you think? They're amazing. They are amazing. So cool. Well, let's show them to Diane. Let's go. Right. 